Sarah's right. Yeah? No, that is Sarah. Team Sarah is right over there. Yes, okay. So children, for Team Nick, remember, go downstage, talk to your parents, and remember how to cook, okay? Alright, let's come to Team Sarah, right over here. Okay, so, children, you guys ready? You guys ready? So, you guys have witnessed what Team Nick has, done, has, has been doing. So it will be something similar, however, I'm sure Chef Sarah will have something, you know, up on her sleeve and she will share with you her dish as well. And then you guys are going to learn, okay, you guys are going to learn. And of course, we also have our assistant right here. Do you know who he is? You don't know? Do you guys listen to Mix Up every morning? Breakfast show? He is one of the DJ. alright? This is, yes, Rob. Yes, his name is Mr. Rob, okay? So he is always, he, he learned how to cook from Sarah today as well. Just a few hours ago. Just yes, I think more no, like an hour ago. Yeah. You guys might be better cooks than me. Yes, maybe. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, have you guys cooked at home before? Have you cooked at home before? No. Yes, no? we have. You yes. cook. What do you cook at home? Fried, fried rice. rice. Wow. You want fried rice? Oh, you no, fried rice. Seriously? You fried rice? Oh, okay. Very you know good. the Chinese style or or the Thai style of fried rice? Do you? He's you also, how, how do you fried rice? How do you fry? Can you show us the motion? You don't know? It's, it's not like... No, he needs to have the real food the real food. Yes. yes, okay. So, you cook for yourself or for your parents? Would it work for That's good. It's very nice. It's very, very nice of you. Then what about you? Have, have you ever thought of cooking for your family? No, so after today, you never do it, okay? And so as you as well, okay? Don't be shy. Just so shy. And what about you? Are you planning to cook for your family as well? No? But you might yes. do very well today and then your parents will say, you have to cook for us now. Yeah. Correct. Your parents will definitely ask you, alright boy, come and cook for me. You know, you want to try your cooking. Perhaps during their birthdays. Your mommy's birthday or father's day. Father's day, you cook them a dish. They will, you can ask for whatever price you want. <laughs> Oh, you're so bad, huh? Alright, so cook from your heart, cook for your family, okay? That's what it's all about, cooking for love. Alright, so we are almost ready, so can we just go check on the stuff? Let me go check on the stuff first, okay? So come up, come up, you guys can come up, right? It's, it's a pleasure to have you come and join us again. Thank you, sir. Alright, so it. you enjoy yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. okay? So, we wait for the next dish. We wait for the next dish. I think this will be, it's going to be awesome. Right. And if the kids can do it, so so as us, right? Don't worry. Okay. I'll be the assistant. Alright, so uh, let's double check everything before we begin. Okay. okay. So, children. Your mommy can cook or not? Can or not? Okay, I'm going to ask this question. This is always a little to ask you. Children okay. never lie. Do you love your mom's cooking? Okay, good. Where's your mommy? You're safe. Okay. <laughs> That's what, do you love your mom's cooking? You don't know. Okay. Your mom is here, you know. Where is your mom? Where's mom? Where's mom? Do you love your mom's cooking? Okay, yes. yes. Okay, yes. So you guys are safe. Right. Except you. <laughs> right, so are we, are we ready? Oh, we are not ready yet. Okay, one second. Okay. Now, other than that, what about you, Rosa? Yes. Have you I love been. You love your mom's cooking. Yeah, I love your mom's cooking. I do love my mom's cooking as well. Okay. Who doesn't, right? Okay. Um, you know when you when you when you first came into the show and yeah. uh, when you were first appointed or perhaps we called you up, yeah. hey, you were learning cooking from Sarah herself. What was your first thought? Oh my goodness, I was nervous because I don't cook. My wife cooks for me, my mom cooks for me. Okay. I was totally nervous, especially rolling what we did just now. Correct. Was okay. She made it easy for me. She made it easy, easy for you. Yeah. So do you think that uh, your, what what is the first question your wife is going to ask you when you reach up tonight? She what would you predict? Which is what is the question? I, I think she would want me to cook the Thai, uh, the Vietnamese dish. Okay, and what will be your answer to Absolutely, that? Absolutely, like, oh, right? Right, no, awesome. All right, right. So, <laughs> yeah. all right. Now, ladies, seriously, I think ladies, a uh, lot of gentlemen will be really cool. Yep. All right. So, yep. practically, hopefully, good luck to you. I'm sure you have done it. You've done it. I've seen it. All right. Okay. And we're gonna learn something new today. And of course, uh, once again, parents, especially, uh, Chef Sarah is going to demonstrate one of the dish. Okay, so we are going to see uh, how she do it, and then children, you all must learn from her and learn from Mr. Ron as well. Remember the steps, it's very easy. Remember the steps, and then right after that, all four of you has to work as a team to come up the same dish as well. Very, very simple, okay? If you have any question, 
Don't be shy, you can ask Chef uh, Sarah or you can ask Mr. Rock as yeah? uh, so well. We will help you. Okay? So parents, okay, it's almost time. Let's just give us one to two more minutes. Let's make sure all the ingredients is here. And to just, make sure is yes, if everybody has just joined us right here, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the AFC Asian Food Channel as we are celebrating Cooking for Love Premiere, which will take place 27 October on your favorite history, uh, on your favorite Astro Channel 703 at 9 p.m., which is next week, ladies and gentlemen. And to those who want to walk away with some prizes, amazing prizes, we do have lucky draws, lots of prizes to give away, Panasonic Microwave Hour to be given away. Um, all you have to do is to join us right here, join us right here at the events area, participate in some of the activities, no purchase required, okay? No purchase required, and you could today walk away with a Panasonic Microwave Hour as well. You know, Rod, I wish I we can participate. Unfortunately, we can't meet yep. the, 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 the microphone over. All the shoppers will get a chance to do so. Wow. Now, right after that, we set yep. the prices. Ah, you see the parents sitting down here? Yep. Okay, they are eager to wait for the children to cook. Yep. Well, so right I... after that, right after the children's cooking, the parents will have a surprise for them. Oh, really? Yes, even the parents have to come up and demonstrate as well. The parents are going to cook. Yes, we're really. going to do nice. something special. Nice. Right. We won't tell them. We won't tell them. Alright, so ready? Yes, we're just waiting for one ingredient, but what? we can get it. Alright, so Sarah, can you tell us what, uh, yeah. what gave you the idea to come up with this uh, dish of yours today? Well, I love Japanese food. Do you guys like Japanese food? Yes. Good answer. Okay. So on the show, we had one family ask for a Chinese-Japanese fusion menu. So you have to blend Chinese food and Japanese food together in one dish, wow. right? So it's kind of a challenge. So right. we came up, I came up with something that is a bit Japanese, a bit Chinese. We have steamed fish, right? Chinese food. Have you ever had steamed fish before? Yeah? But today we do a Japanese sauce. So do you guys like miso soup? It's using miso, it's using soy sauce, and it's very yummy. Right, so it's a fusion, a mixture. Don't look, don't look so apprehensive. I promise it's very yummy. Believe me, believe me. <laughs> she will put on a smile right after she tried the fish later. Yes, okay. Yeah? All right. A... So, now, kids, remember, it's just a fusion, which means Japanese recipe mixed with Chinese. Okay? So you guys are going to learn from the chef herself, and you guys are going to know how to cook right after this. Right? Pretty simple dish. Okay? So parents, Please pay attention as well, perhaps you guys can learn a few things and uh, to those parents, shoppers who want to see a recipe, we do have printed out back there as well. Okay, you can actually capture the recipe which is featured back there as well. Okay? All right. Okay, I'm going to get started guys, you ready? All right, so, so, this corner, better head first. So Sarah, please. So everyone is a chef in this kitchen. Mm, yeah. You guys are right, the head means you guys are real chefs. So I'll pass the stage to you Sarah, it is all Thank yours. You. Go and enjoy yourself. All right, let's Thank go. You. Steams will make the sauce. This is a really simple recipe. I 
think when you guys go home, you can definitely try it. Or maybe even ask your mom to cook it for you. How, uh, how long are we going to steam it for, Sarah? We'll steam it for between 6 to 8 minutes. Okay. I think I will go for 7 minutes. 7 minutes, okay? Seven minutes, okay. On a medium steam heat. Medium, huh? You're remembering, right? Okay, and I'm going to press that. So it started steaming already. Now we can make the sauce. We're already on to step two. So easy, yeah. right, guys? Yeah, yeah. So you guys must wait now. It's easy. Yeah, I got you a very easy recipe. So I'm just going to turn on the heat. Sushi. What kind of sushi? Is it salmon? Yes, uh, salmon sushi. So this is a bit like salmon sushi. It's not raw. You guys eat raw fish? Yes? Wow, oh, very adventurous. Very good. Add a little bit, don't add all of it. 
That's something I learned now today. And you gotta cut it off the fire first before adding the miso. Yes, because right. miso is actually right. kind of alive, if you know what I mean. Oh. And when you boil it, the flavor totally changes. So huh? in traditional Japanese food, you always have to turn off the fire before you add the miso. Then only you can start whisking it in. And whoever right. is in charge of this, you have to watch out. You can see if you have lumps of miso, you want yeah. to keep whisking until it's all dissolved. So until you can't see any more of the lumps of miso. That's right. With without any fire. And you see now it's nice and nice. Nice. You see the I mean you get a few little ones. Those are actually the grain inside the miso. Don't worry about that. We don't want to make lumps of miso because when you bite on that, it'll be too salty, not yummy. Now I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a taste. Mm, tastes good. When you're cooking at home, it's very important to taste as you go because yeah. you know you can read the recipe. It says this much salt, this much sugar, but you might not like it, so you want to taste. You want to make sure mm, is this salty enough? Is this spicy enough for my taste? And then you change the ingredients as you go along. So I'm going to set this aside. We're just going to wait for that salmon to cook, and in the meantime, I'm going to cut some garnish. Alright children, so far you guys okay? No problem? Any questions you want to ask? So far so good, yeah? Okay. Excellent, excellent, huh? Okay. So for the garnish, I'm going to use some coriander. Okay. You guys like coriander? Yeah? Do you know what it is when I give it a smell? Ooh, it's fresh. That's isn't nice, it? right? It's very nice. fresh. It's a herb. Nice. And it's very important in Asian food. Nice. Like Thai food, Vietnamese food, Chinese food, we use a lot so of this. And it gives a nice freshness because you know salmon is quite heavy, right? It's a little bit oily, dizzy, a little bit salty. So by adding the fresh herbs, it kind of makes dish not yes. so heavy. Then after you eat it, you can still run, dance, sing, everything you want to do. Nice. So I'm just gonna give this a rough chop. Is that why you have short fingernails? My fingernails are not very short. But That's true too. <laughs> So this is the garnish. We can also add a little bit of spring onion as well. How do you guys feel about spring onion? Nice? Nice? Mm-hmm. You seem unsure. You guys seem like everything, right? That's great. I love a lot of picky eater. Yeah. Which is good. Just gonna give I love spring onion. It gives the dish a bit more bounce. Give it a rough chop. Ooh, and that's fast. Wow. Get some nice bites of spring Onion, Professional chef, dish. look at that. And then I'm going to save these long bits for garnish. Just to give it a bit of extra something. Now with spring onion, I don't use how much because you know raw spring onion, it can be quite strong, right? So the coriander, there's more. Spring onion, maybe not so much. If you really love it, you can add more. But for this time, I'm going to add a bit less. And I know you guys don't like ginger, so we will put that. But if you guys are making it at home, you can put some very thinly sliced ginger. And then as a last step, which I do on the show, you heat up some peanut oil or vegetable oil and you spray it on the top. That's like a traditional Chinese method to be seen fish. But today we're not going to do that because we have kids. Hot oil and kids, maybe. Not such a good mixture. Okay. Our fish is done. Let's have a look. Yay. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of fish coming out. Now remind wow. the children when your fish is cooked, do let the weaver come and we will help you out to take out the oven because it's hot, okay? We don't want you guys to burn yourself, right? We'll do that for you. Right? So remember, don't touch it, it's hot. Thank you. Ooh, wow. See, it's very nice, perfectly cooked. You see how all the lines and the fish have come apart? That's how you know it's done. You see? It smells good, right? Okay, good. I have your stamp of approval. I'm just going to grab the serving dish. That looks tasty already. Yeah, very easy, don't worry. I've got you covered. Now, maybe someone can help me hold the dish. Do you mind helping me hold it? Two hands left? Two yes, the uncle shows it. So I'm just going to lift up the fish and put it on the plate.
traditional Chinese cooking. It reminds me of my grandma's cooking. Oh, she loves sesame oil. She loves sesame oil, so I'm very influenced by her. So for this part, I'm just going to pour on, but you guys can use a spoon. Pour that on. Yeah. 